surprise, but Feral Texas Outdoors, we have a new product here by AGM. This is part of their secular line series of thermal scopes. They do make a 25, a 50 millimeter, and a 75 millimeter. Uh, this is their 50 millimeter model. This is what they call the Secular TS50. All those units in this line of series or have a resolution of 384. Looking at a detector type of uh, 17 uh, micron. And then we're also looking at a 50 hertz refresh rate. So that's some of the specs of this unit. But there is a lot more to this unit than just that. You can look at a spec sheet, but you know, what are you really getting? As far as what you're getting with here with the 50 millimeter lens on this unit that we have is you have a nice big focus ring right here. It's grooved, it's easy to move. If you had gloves on, your fingers aren't going to slip off of it. Be able to adjust that on that focus. Another thing to mention also is you do not have to cover the lens cap. It does have a shutter that it'll close whenever you go to nuke. That way you can clear up your image, focus ring right there. Less one less thing you have to worry about and less thing you have to do. Now another thing is it does run off of two CR123 batteries. The battery compartment on this is different than most traditional units that run that like this. This side door is a metal housing, metal screw, easy to open, easy to close. They changed this up and this has been great. This is going to be something that I believe a lot of other companies probably will adapt here in the future. But it is really easy to do in the dark. I've been able to do that. Um, but another option, you still can use an external battery pack with this. Micro USB, plug it in, able to run this thing all night long if you want to. Um, another thing that you can add on to this is you can add on the AGM HD recorder with the SD card or their Wi-Fi unit. Fits perfectly on this little rail right here. That way you keep this nice small profile that you have. But you can run your traditional uh, DVR systems that you have and you can run these and connect to these rails and run them as well. Um, whatever your preference may be, if you don't want to upgrade the recorder just want to use the one that you have and maybe some of your other units. Definitely put it on here. And a lot of the options and palettes are the same as a lot of their other units that they have. Um, also included in this, picture and picture. Nice big objective lens on this thing. With picture and picture, great combination. I think this thing has been great. Uh, we actually wanted to put this thing through the ring. We wanted to put it in suboptimal conditions, so we do have uh, some of our videos where we're looking at 90, 100% humidity just to see how well this thing can adjust for that type of environment and that climate. And uh, we actually took another thermal unit out with us one night and it could not clear and could not nuke and, and, and get the sensor working well enough for us to be able to do target identification. So this one could. Surprisingly, with this small unit, with everything that's inside, we were able to cut through 90-100% humidity. And I mean, you even take a regular video camera to see moisture in the air. And this unit was able to get a nice clear thermal image for us to pop off a shot. And so we've been really impressed with this one. This unit is available on our website, feraltexasoutdoors.com. If you have any questions, reach out to me, uh, Jason at feraltexasoutdoors.com or on our social media pages. Uh, we'll have more videos from this unit coming soon, but we're going to put one on this video today. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us about this unit and about others. Uh, we'll take care of you and get you all set up. Okay, so we've recovered this nice little boar here tonight. Uh, shot another one that's over in the woods down the creek. We're not going to go try to get him tonight. And we got us another one. They ended up running over the neighbor's place and didn't want to pop shots through the fence over at that one. Uh, get ourselves in trouble here. But enjoyed going out tonight. We kind of had an interesting setup. We're out here in this tall ryegrass. See about knee high. So some of these pigs, you know, they're getting hard to kind of see out here as they're moving around. So we set up a cell camera with some corn 
and they knocked down a lot of that ryegrass trying to get after that corn, make it a nice clean shot for me tonight. Um, that worked out really, really well. I didn't think it was going to work out as well as it did. I thought they'd end up seeing me as I was trying to stalk through some of this ryegrass, but worked perfectly tonight. We used our Secular 50 by AGM. A lot of fun with the scope, easy to use, nice lightweight for us. And I really, really like that. Uh, we've got a lot of kills with the scope so far. We'll bring bring more to you here with the Secular 50, but got some success tonight and had success other nights. Really enjoy using this scope, uh, but we'll bring more to you soon. Now what'd you get yourself? Well, we got us a nice little coyote here. I'm telling you, as these lips can call them in. <laughs> <laughs> so we got us a female. I know we got the first hog kill with the secular. Maybe I got the first coyote too, but it's a good sized coyote. Pretty good size. Had to be patient with her between all the cows. So you got a hog and a coyote tonight. Oh yeah. These guys had to be real patient with this one and all the weaving in and out of all the cows. But uh, came from a good, good way. Well, I shot well over a hundred yards. Oh. Huh. Got the job done tonight. Oh, you can't see the cows, but they're right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're coming to see what's going on. 